Hi, I was uh, trying to make a very specific shape of a heat sink. So I took this copper block and I hit it with a laser and I tried to like make the shape and it, it didn't work. Like I was spending a ton of time trying to make that work and it didn't work. So I thought that I would use ferric chloride. Um, so I covered this with a sticker, with some cut up uh, stickers and put it on the other side. And I ran a bubbler underneath it. And the bubbler, the bubbles were coming out here and they were spreading in this direction. And this is like a mirror, very, very smooth. This area without the bubbler is number one, not smooth. And number two, um, not nearly as engraved. And there's like a lip here that comes from the, the bubbler very actively working here. So this is almost what I want. I, I don't want to fix this enough to fix my process. So what I'm going to do is use the other side of this. And I'll use another sticker that I don't care about to lay this out and get it etched. I'm going to go get a stone for the bubbler. What I want to do is be able to have a heat sink so that when I'm laser cutting and engraving these stainless steel and in canal business cards, they don't flex because all the ones that I've burned have bent. And even when I was using like this three millimeter thick stainless steel stock for bottle openers, you could, you could see it's, it rocks back and forth where it got heated up. So I got to solve this. I need a heat sink. This block of copper is going to be that heat sink. I think we'll find out. Anyway, I just thought it was kind of cool that the, the bubbler put such a, a nice profile into the copper. Have a good one.